Today's yoga practice is a very brief micro video. It will be about five minutes and we are specifically targeting that really tight tissue in the area of the neck. Just begin to let your right ear come towards the right shoulder. My chest is uplifted. We're going to hold here for five to seven seconds. Feel free to close the eyes and come into the breath. We're not forcing and we're not drawing the shoulder up. We're leaving it down. Inhale, come back up to the center and exhale, taking it over to the other side. Just that first place of resistance, you'll stop there. And we're going to come back through center. We're repeating this four more times. Exhaling as you let your ear drop down towards the shoulder, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Use that exhalation to release, intentionally release. Inhale, center. And exhale to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. We'll inhale, center, last time. Exhale to the right, keeping the pelvis in neutral, the chest uplifted. Inhale, center, last time over to the left. Inhale, center. Beautiful. This time as you exhale, you're going to rotate your chin so it's parallel to your shoulder. You know, hold here for five to seven seconds. Holding and breathing. Inhale, come through center as you inhale. And exhale over to the other side. Allow it to be really fluid. Inhale, center, exhale to the right, same movement. Keep the shoulders relaxed and the breath flowing. Inhale, center, we're never forcing, just finding that first place where the body and the tension and the muscles start to say, whoa. Inhale, come to center. Exhale to the right again. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. Inhale, center. And just check in, see if your posture is healthy from the base upwards. And begin to keep your chest right where it is. And let your chin, you know, have your chin draw down towards your chest. Inhale, lifting back up. And you'll do that again four more times. It's really important to keep that space open for the breath, your shoulders in neutral. Inhale through center. And exhale, dropping the chin again. Really feeling that release right from the occipital lobe at the back of the skull, right down into the upper back area. And this last time, if you like, you can interlace your hands behind your head. 
you're not pushing on your head, you're actually pushing your head into your hands. So you let your chin drop, and then press the head into the hands. Now release the hands and just see if there's a little more freedom in the neck, let it drop. Let the chin drop. And inhale to center. I find that really effective to have my hands on the back of my head, so you might want to do a few more of those. So our last movement for today. You're going to keep your chin forward. This is a little bit odd. So you're going to take your chin forward and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then come back to center. Chin forward, exaggerate, squeeze shoulder blades together. Come back through center. Chin forward, shoulder blades squeeze together. Back through center, and one more time. Chin comes forward, squeeze shoulder blades, and back through center. One last thing, just a little additional. Coming past five minutes, but I think you'll like this. So just very gently coming into the jaw, just some gentle, come back into the head. I really encourage this often in class, this idea of self-massage. So we'll finish there. If this feels good, keep going. Ha. Ah. Next up is a practice specifically for the chest and the shoulders.